Okay, this video is about proportion and it's best represented through a recipe. So here's a recipe for a simple sponge cake and this recipe serves eight people. And let's say I actually have 12 guests, so I need to make a cake for 12 people. So I need enough ingredients in order for me to be able to make a larger cake. So I need to know how much ingredients I'm going to need for the larger cake. So if 8 ounces of flour are needed for 8 people, then one person needs 1 ounce. And so 12 people will need 12 ounces. Okay. So this whole idea is trying to determine how much one person would need and then multiply it by how many you need. Okay. So 8 ounces of butter, so each person requires 1 ounce of butter, so I'm going to need 12 ounces of butter. And likewise for caster sugar, for exactly the same reasons. Now, eggs, 4 eggs are needed for 8 people. So each person requires half an egg. So if each person requires half an egg, then 12 people will require 6 eggs. So I need 6 eggs. And then 1 teaspoon of baking powder served between 8 people. Okay, so I would need to do 1 divided by 8, which is 0.125, if you try that on the calculator. And then I'm going to need to multiply that by 12, because that's how much one person is going to need. So 12 people are going to need to know that. So if you do that on your calculator, 0.125 times by 12 is 1.5. So you need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder in order to make this cake. So this is how you can get the proportions right to make sure you haven't put in too much flour or you haven't put in too much sugar into the mix so that the mix is consistent whether you're making it for 8 people or 12.